data analysis using the Family Heart Database, um, investigating the association between LP little a levels and cardiovascular events. And this will be done in individuals with and without ASCVD. Um, these are all the authors of the data analysis and our disclosures. Okay, sure. Okay, so few of the recent analyses that have looked at LP little a and events have looked at individuals with and without ASCVD within the same analysis. So we aim to do this doing a non-interventional retrospective cohort study. Um, the, da the data source was the Family Heart Database and the data spanned from 2012 to 2021. And individuals who participated in the data analysis were at least 18 years old they all had to have at least one LP little a measurement in nanomoles per liter, and the measurement had to occur between 2013 and 2020. And so you can see here that the index date um, was the date of the first LP little a measurement, and all individuals had to have medical claims data prior to that time to assess baseline status and after that time to assess events. And each individual was followed until their last activity in the database out to the fourth quarter of 2021. Um, just to familiarize you with the Family Heart Database, this is a database that is, was created and has been maintained by the Family Heart Foundation. And it, it's completely de-identified data and it couples medical claims data with lab data. And you can see here that there are almost 300 million individuals with claims data in the US in our database. And approximately a quarter of them have been followed for the full duration of 10 years. A smaller population also has lab data, including about a million people with LP little a measures. Um, the LP little a measures were completed by multiple vendors, um, all used an immunoturbinometric methodology. And like I said before, we only included individuals where the results were reported in nanomoles per liter. Uh, the primary endpoint was time to occurrence of first ASCVD event. We used a Cox proportional hazard model. Um, the ASCVD events that were included were um, MI, unstable angina, ischemic stroke, PCI, and cabbage. And um, you can see here that we assess the primary endpoint across six different categories. And the categories different, differed based on whether individuals had baseline ASCVD and what their LP little a measurement was. And the reference category was individuals without ASCVD who had an LP little a level that was less than 10. Um, so uh, we included 393,000 individuals in our analysis. 43% um, of them had ASCVD at baseline. This is the distribution of the LP little a levels. And in the group with ASCVD, the median LP little a level was 37. In the group without, it was 30. Um, so these are our results. And um, the top part is an unadjusted hazard ratio. The bottom is adjusted. So compared to the reference group, if you look at the individuals who didn't have ASCVD but had an LP little a level that was greater than 140, um, the risk of having an event was increased by 17% in the unadjusted model and 12% in the adjusted model. And if you look at the individuals who did have baseline ASCVD, you can see that the pattern um, across the increasing categories of LP little a is similar. And it's, it's interesting to note that compared to the reference category, if you look at the individuals who had ASCVD and also had an LP little a level that was greater than 140, their risk was increased more than threefold. 
Um, so this study is one of the largest examinations of LP little a that's been done in a contemporary setting. And we show that in patients with ASCVD and without ASCVD, um, higher levels of LP little a consistently predict higher risk. Um, we know from some of our other data that LP little a screening rates are very low. In the ASCVD population, it's only about 2%. And this study illustrates why increased screening is so important um, to support risk stratification and subsequent care. And it also um, illustrates that the unmet need for safe and effective LP little a lowering therapies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really nice.